Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and I'm showing you my BTS speed paints today. So this project has been a couple of months in the making and comes right after my Blackpink portrait series. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to show you all my speed paint process. So here I'm actually in the program called Krita. It's a program that I downloaded for my Samsung Galaxy tablet so that I could create on the go. Um, I found that when I was um, traveling and going to conventions, I had a lot of downtime and that was time that I could be using to create. So um, this portrait is actually the first portrait I started in Krita. And right now I'm going through and selecting uh, parts of RM's hair to add some shadow to and then to also go back and lighten and put some highlights. Um, and as you can obviously see, I'm very far <laughs> into this portrait already. Um, one thing about me I am not in the habit of recording my art process, which I need to do better at for sure. My concept for this was like a pop art um, vibe. And I really liked how that came out in my Blackpink portraits and I wanted to do it again in my um, BTS portraits. So I built up the colors um, just using a lasso tool, so creating base colors, um, starting from darker and going to lighter. And everything you see, all the shapes, even like with the eyes and the, um, the lips and everything, that's all the lasso tool. I'm not using a brush yet, I'm not, um, like I didn't really do too much sketching I just did like rough shapes <laughs> down first and just layered them on top of each other kind of like a collage and I don't actually know well I do know where it came from so I don't really like the painterly style in Photoshop or like digital painting programs I just I have a really rough time doing like realistic <laughs> um, portraits when it comes to doing a painterly style. I kind of like a graphic feel more than anything. So that's what I went with. So it, it gives it a vector feel, but it's not really a vector <laughs> image. And I also have this thing where I don't, uh, I start off not really knowing colors and like what colors I'm going to use so I just kind of throw stuff in <laughs> like I wasn't working off of a color palette which I do in later portraits of BTS but um this one I just picked whatever color I felt went well together and also the background um I have is this is very similar to my black pink portraits backgrounds with like the triangle shapes, yeah, but it, you'll see, I, I don't keep it. Um, I kind of, kind of love and hate <laughs> the fact that I don't really focus on the basics of art sometimes because it gives me the freedom to do what I want, but then it also kind of hinders my art sometimes. I feel like if I had a better grasp of color and composition and um, just the basics like that that my artwork would be so much better but yeah I just kind of do what I want and I went to art school I I've been formally trained <laughs> so it kind of makes me feel like an imposter to be doing art just like however I want to but so now I'm like doing the line art which I love that's my favorite part is doing the line art and instead of doing it first I do it after I've set all the 
um, shapes in because I don't know where the shapes will be <laughs> at first and I don't want to hinder myself like the line art is just so exact that I don't want to like stop myself from being so free and loose with making the shapes with the lasso tool for at first so the liner comes last for me and this is there's a thing in Krita where like because I'm working on my tablet I can just like touch the screen with two of my fingers and pinch or pull like the screen and so I can zoom in zoom out twist it I really love that but it does end up um, being a little pain sometimes because I um, anywhere I touch I leave a mark and I'd have to go back and erase and it just it's just annoying but yeah I really love line work here I'm doing some in the hair which um, in the darker part that gets lost but overall it looks nice I think it's really soothing just to do all those lines in the hair it's really calming but yeah you can see like that little dot that I erase right there Luckily, Krita is not so different from Photoshop. It was a little bit of a learning curve, but most of the tools and user interface is similar. Um, it's just not the best for like large files or trying to export to PSD. Here, I changed the background from that triangle to like more watercolory purple gradient background and it's shiny I got them printed at cat print so it's sparkly and shiny and holographic and I really like how it came out I even made stickers <laughs> so it was if this was a fun project to start and I did Jimin in the meantime, but it took me three months between RM and J-Hope, which is now on the screen. So yeah, it took me three months, but in those three months I did do Jimin as you saw, and I did um, Jin and Suga. Um, and it was a struggle. Like once I got to Jin, I was done. I was, really ready to like just never pick this project up again and I was like okay I'm just not gonna do, do J-Hope or Jungkook or uh, V they're just not gonna get done I'm just gonna abandon ship <laughs> but I don't do that obviously um it so it was it was not only the struggle of like it being three months oh, and sorry flash warning <laughs> and going through all the different like blending modes um but it was also coming back from a k-pop um convention where i barely sold anything that was like a bummer and um just make this like whole project as i progressed through it started feeling more like work and a chore and less like fun and I also just forgot what I was doing. Like, so you see me flipping through Jimin and um, J-Hope's files because I'm trying to figure out my process again and like how I did things and trying to keep things consistent um, across the layers for each file. So I am playing around with textures now. Um, trying to make that piece not feel so digital <laughs> and um, it's it's um, a comfort to be back in Photoshop or oh, I actually didn't even mention this is Photoshop that I'm in right now so I, I really enjoy Photoshop um, Creed is fine but um, it just it makes things so much easier to work in Photoshop because I know it better and um, it's on my computer my laptop which unfortunately can't travel anymore it's no longer mobile it is now just working as a as a desktop <laughs> computer um, 
but yeah, so I, I just feel a lot less anxiety now, I guess, when I'm working in Photoshop, because I've learned a little bit more um, about the process, or well, about my process and like structuring these illustrations. And specifically for J-Hope, this is where I started using color palettes. Um, instead of just picking random colors, I actually found a color palette that I liked and uh, used those colors to inform how I wanted the image to look. And I, I think as I'm looking more and more at this image now, I hate it less. <laughs> I originally like really didn't like how um, J-Hope looked, especially in comparison to like the other ones that I did. It just feels like I phoned him in and I didn't. I think I just got tired. Like when I began him, I was losing my steam in the in liking art. <laughs> And I didn't really want to go back after I came after I came back to this particular file after a hiatus. I didn't feel like redoing it. And ultimately, I think it's fine. I I do like it. I just I feel like I know that if I was in a better mindset when I started it, it, it could have been better. But overall, I do like it. Um, I uh, go in with some like whites and do some highlights. I do like yellow and white highlights just so that it doesn't feel like so stark. And of course, like you can see like the line art um, in there as well. And I do some like added little like sparkles <laughs> um, just to give it some texture. I dropped the opacity on that and yeah I'm flipping back and forth through Jimin and J-Hopes just to make sure that it's consistent across both of them but yeah the more I look at it the more I like it I'm just giving a little bit more depth to those eyes I really like his his pose it's more like yeah I'm a cool rapper <laughs> Which he is, so. I do like how um, he just looks chill in this. Yeah, I really um, want to continue working in Photoshop and just having fun with it and exploring like all the things that you can do with it because I know there's so much more that I could um, like so many more tools so much more so many more techniques just more <laughs> even with like the the text like all that text like J-Hope and Hobie in Korean it's all handwritten and I know I could probably do some cool things with text in it as well. But I like it. I like how it came out. I feel like the hair. And the, all oh, the highlights on the hair. Yeah. It's like that green, that um, red really pops out really nicely against the green and the yellow gives some highlights. Oh yeah, I, I um, also added um, a tree bark texture just to give it a little more grit I think Jimin's has like a smoke texture I'm playing around with the modes and seeing what I like and what I don't like yeah I think Jimin's has like a smoke texture and then I do um, like a fire texture on Jungkook's, which he's next. And so the only one I really have left to do is V, aka Taehyung. And so here's where you get to see the process from um, like the base to line art. And I go with, 
I show you all my layers. So from the shirt to the shadows, from the skin, the darks to lights, the hair, the shadows in the hair, highlights in the hair. Yep. And then the text and all that before the text, like all the layers before the text are just lasso tool. I don't do any brushes or anything. And then I put some like sparkles on and some motion lines and then the line art. Yes. So yeah, that's my process. Um, and it's so satisfying to finally be on the end um, leg of this project. And I really hope that you enjoy this um, content. And I want to bring more of like how I create to um, you guys. So stay tuned for, for more of these vlogs that are not really vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're interested, go and check out my online shop so you can get your own BTS holographic posters at JaniqueCrenshaw.com slash shop. Until next time, bye.